Hi and welcome to Bikehead. My name is Ed and today I'm really excited to be talking to you about the Scorpion EXO 520 Air. So five years ago, Scorpion announced the EXO 510 Air, which changed the game for mid-price point helmets. All the features packed into that price point that everybody's after. They've now replaced it, the EXO 520 Air, with even more features, even more benefits. So let's talk about a couple of the colorways we've had through early. This is a 2021 product. We've got the cover colorway here and the shade colorway here. There are nine graphics in total, including a matte black. Quick note on the matte black one. There are two versions of the matte black. You've got the standard matte black one, and then you've got the, the one that comes with the comms built in. So it's the exocom system, microphone speakers, and the unit in the side, all built into the helmet and homologated as standard. So that's called the EXO520 Smart. So that is available on a separate page on the website, but check Bike Heads for any information on that. That is coming 2021. So back to the standard helmet. Let's keep on the comms track quickly. If we have a look on the side of the helmet here, you've got a little panel. That's where the EXO comm system goes. So that is available as an optional extra on all the other colorways, including the matte black one, of course. You can buy it as standard and add the comms as an extra. Coming back to the feature of the helmet. So, thermo resin shell. So you've got your standard shell, nice high quality from Scorpion, as usual with their five-year warranty, so you know it's a quality product. Coming to the front, let's talk about the ventilation quickly. Three-point ventilation on the front here, really easy to use with a gloved hand, so you're not going to be fiddling around. Same on the top, again, three-point ventilation on the top with dual inputs there as well. Coming around to the back, we do have an exhaust vent that's allowing air to be pulled through from the back from this area of negative pressure behind the helmet. Quick note on the back, you can tell that Scorpion have thought about this helmet. If you look at the shape of the shell at the back here, you've got this point. The reason for the point is, as the air comes over the top of the helmet, you get more negative pressure the further back you go. So what that means is it stops the helmet shaking this way when you're riding, keeps it nice and stable and smooth. So you get a massive benefit from the shell shape as well. Let's talk about the visor quickly. So clear visor is standard in the box. Other color visors are available. Check the Bikehead's website for all the colors that are available for the 520. This black one obviously looks really good on this red shell. But the clear visor that comes as standard also comes with a pin lock as standard in the box. So for those guys that don't know what a pin lock is, it's an anti-fog system. So it sits on these pins, absorbs the moisture that you breathe, so it's going to stop the helmet fogging up in wet, damp and cold conditions. So you're getting that as standard in the box with the 510, uh, 520. Sorry. Sticking with the visor, you've got a lip tech on the visor as well. So when you lift the visor up, it comes back, sits back on itself slightly. What that means is it allows that pin lock max vision to be fitted inside the helmet. Max vision means it's slightly bigger, means the silicon bead doesn't get in the way of your vision when you're riding. And that's all a subject of this area here, allowing the visor to come away. Second advantage of that is as the visor shuts, it snaps back on itself and creates a perfect seal around the top of the helmet, so you have less chance of any leaking issues. So that's the exterior of the helmet. If we go around to the side here, you'll see you've got a sun visor part here. So inside here, sorry, just open that up, you've got your drop down sun visor. So that's available in all the models as you'd expect on the left hand side of the helmet, so it's really easy to reach, perfect use case scenario there. You've got a nose piece here that is removable if you don't like that, so people with big noses like me, that just touches the end of, I quite often remove that, but it does increase concentration, concentration when you're riding if you've got this piece of the helmet in as well. Also diverts a bit of the air down as well, so you're getting less moisture in up on your pin lock. Coming around to the bottom, now this is somewhere where Scorpion Excel. Emergency release cheek pads easing down this far in the rain. This is something you'd normally see on a premium race helmet. Designed for the racetrack, of course. When you have your accident, the paramedics are now trained to remove these cheek pads and then slide the helmet off. That puts less stress on your neck, less chance of a neck injury. Running around to the back of the helmet, you've got these two reflective areas as well. A lot of people say to me, why are they hidden up under there? Surely that's not going to do anything. Well, we all ride like this. This is the riding position. As you can see, as the car's lights shine on it, you get two points of contact there. It's going to give you extra visibility, a bit more active safety built into the helmet. Coming back around to the bottom, you've got a micro lock strap, really easy to use, super simple, ultimately adjustable, you get a nice comfortable fit and loads of padding underneath. Coming to the cheek pad area. So cheek pads again is something Scorpion spent a lot of time on. The reason for that is they've got a full 3D construction here. Different, mem different foam, sorry, densities of foam in different areas. So it really cuts around your cheek, fits perfectly around that area. And this is a refined fit from the 510. So they've gone more in the direction of the 1400 Scorpion's best-selling helmet. We very, very rarely, if ever, get a fit issue with this new fit. 
If you haven't tried one on or you've tried an old Scorp and it didn't fit so well, try one of these. It's absolute magic. It fits almost everybody perfectly. If you need a bit more pressure on your cheeks though, Scorpion do provide the air fit system. Don't know if you can see it on the video there, but you've got a little red button underneath. If you press that about three or four times, it inflates bladders built in behind these cheek pads, pushes them in, makes it a perfect custom fit on your face. You've then got a small release valve, release valve next to it, just lets that air out again, and you can take the helmet off nice and comfortably. A couple of benefits to that. First of all, the custom fit. Second thing is it reduces wind noise up inside the helmet. And the third benefit is as the helmet starts to wear a bit, you can just give it a couple of pumps. It'll just push it back in and give you the grip that you need on the side of your face. So you get less helmet lifting at high speed. Sticking with the lining, we've got a quick, quick two lining. So it's a really wickable lining, helps get the sweat away from the face. And then that good ventilation system is going to pull that moisture out of the helmet. So you're staying as dry as possible with inside it. So there's a lot of features I've just been through on this helmet. If you look at the price point, it's absolutely incredible that Scorpion have managed to build all these features in, a five-year warranty, the quality and all the graphics that you deserve and expect from a Scorpion. So there's nine colorways and the smart one with the comm system as well. For any more information on this 2021 helmet, please check bikeheads.co.uk.